Hello guys, as you can see here, I have celery and I'm removing the stalks of the celery. I don't know if you call it stalks. It's, um, in my mind, it's just stalks. <laughs> I don't know if it is right or not. So anyways, uh, today I am going to cook a very easy um, Filipino carbonara that I've learned 30 years ago. This is a very simple and very delicious uh, um, carbonara recipe. And uh, yeah, just uh, want to remove the end of those stalks. Um, later guys, I'm going to show you how you can keep your uh, uh, rest of celery to to become longer in your kitchen for longer use so now i'm going to chop these uh, stalks and uh i have two gar two cloves of garlic and an onion here that's what we need and uh, i'm going to chop this one So guys, after chopping the ingredients, here are they now. We have garlic, onions, and ham. The ham, I will gonna chop it later because it's already cooked. And we have here shrimps and the celery and we have condensed milk. Anyway, guys, um, and here is our cooked spaghetti noodles. And let's start cooking. Have the garlic, onions, and the. And um, you can use butter for sauteing the ingredients or margarine. But if you don't have those, you can still use oil. So, yeah. First is the garlic so that the aroma will come out, distribute to the oil. And then next is the onion. And um, um, I forgot. Um, there's one ingredient that I forgot, guys. Um, mushrooms. I think I forgot mushrooms. <laughs> but anyway, it's still the same. Um, first, saute the, the onion until the it become uh, transparent to a little bit brown. And then uh, what to put next is the raw ingredients, the, um, what do you call this, shrimps and the celery together. It is important to, when you cook, it is important to fry or saute your uh, raw ingredients, especially meat or uh, fish, so that the, um, the, the um, what do you call this, the, f um, uh, fishy or the bloody um, smell or aftertaste of the meat or fish you're gonna eliminate at least a half, half of it <laughs> and then uh, yeah let's take the shrimps and let's wait until it cooked just like that and uh, of course, I slices the ham already, and let's put the ham so that the the aroma and the taste of the ham will gonna fold into the taste of our sauce for later. Look at that! It smells good already, guys. But there's still no um, science that you can smell the food that you are watching <laughs> yeah let's wait until the shrimps cooked and then you can put salt because uh, 
usually when I should say um uh, um meat or other kinds of fish, I put um fish sauce. But this time shrimp is very uh, pungent, so salt is okay. And then a little bit pepper, black pepper, white pepper, anything. Just saute it. And then <laughs> put the condensed milk I already put. I forgot to turn on the camera. So the sauce is the condensed milk, guys. It's a 340 grams uh, condensed unsweetened milk. And taste it. If it is already good, then just just uh, boil this one and then uh, and then uh, it's ready. Let's just wait. And. Uh, now I'm going to put the spaghetti noodles. It's not easy to to cook with um, if you do videos. So this is a DIY uh, filming of myself cooking because I'm using my tablet, so it's very heavy. And I don't have stand uh, for it. And uh, let's mix the noodles together. Just like this. So guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe for, uh, for you to see my other uploads and videos. And uh, yeah, let's continue cooking. And uh, of course, uh, you should taste what you are cooking. And uh, let's just mix until the sauce will um, uh, absorb by the noodles. And uh, you will know it. You will gonna notice if it become sticky on the bottom, and it's done. Uh, the taste is good already, and. Uh, So, I'm going to show you how it looks like. It looks like this. There should be greens, but uh, dark greens. Because we use the, the celery stalks. And then it's a little bit pale. So, this is the serving of it. Um, yeah, you can serve this with a uh, grated cheese. Um can use your favorite cheese but this time I don't use cheese um, because I don't have the cheese that is uh, uh, good for this so so guys this is the uh, carbonara that I cook and let's make a taste test. Mm. Mm. Try this guys, this is very easy and very delicious. Try it yourself. very creamy and a little bit sweet because of the unsweetened condensed milk you can put cheese on the top of it but I don't like cheese this time so mm. yummy try it